Here's something interesting I picked up at the flea market today. This is an Eastern Pocket Radio made in Japan, model ER22N. Come on. And there we go. Yeah, nice little miniature blue radio that says on there. Eastern Germanium Radio, and this tunes the standard AM broadcast band. And basically, all this is is a crystal radio that uses a germanium diode for for detection. It has a wired-on crystal earphone and two leads. One is an antenna lead, and the other one is a ground lead. And one of the leads is broken off at one time. These had alligator clips on both leads but like I said one end is one lead is broken off and will have to be repaired I suspect this is probably from the early to mid 1960s and was likely the cheapest pocket radio that you could buy these were geared towards the younger market like kids and probably cost a couple of dollars when new And here's the inside of the radio, as you can see, not much to it. We have our germanium crystal diode, a capacitor, and a variable variable inductor for tuning purposes. And I'll rotate the tuning knob, and you can see how that works. As you can see, when the tuning knob is rotated, an iron core moves in and out of the inductor. And it appears that the reason this radio doesn't work is because the winding is open on this vari variable inductor. So I'll have to look into that to see if it can be fixed. Obviously these radios were not top performers by any sense of the word under optimum conditions. These were basically only good for, for local radio stations. Sometimes you might get lucky and pull in something distant, but for the most part these were only good for local reception. But whether I get it working or not, it's still a cool little radio that I'll add to my collection. Okay, uh, there you go. Thanks for watching and more to come later.